So we are going with some kind of iterative kind of a method, repeating using some kind of mechanism and trying to converge to a particular solution. So this particular numerical methods are used in lot of areas in finance and various other other uh, uh, business areas. So just to get uh, started, they are generally used. They are a kind of mechanism. They are a kind of iterations, especially when analytical solutions are not available. A closed formula kind of a mechanism does not exist or this formula has some kind of restrictions or assumptions in terms of usage. In those cases, we typically resort to the usage of numerical methods. Probably solving equations. Probably there is a way out to solve the values of the equation. But of course, if that equation forms a 20 degree, I mean 20th uh, degree polynomial which might have 20 different roots solving it becomes very difficult finding the value right or uh, typically uh, in some kind of optimization problems we may have to do the same process again and again a closed form formula does not exist where i just substitute the values and get the output solving ordinary equations if it is just like x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 i could very well solve for the value of x saying either it is 2 or 3 but there could be a few equations, probably uh, x power 5 minus uh, 20x plus 32 uh, uh, x cube minus 20x power 4 plus 15x, sorry, 20x squared plus 15x minus 7. If I want to know what is the, the value of x in this case, it is going to be very, very difficult. So these kind of equations can be solved quite comfortably using the numerical uh, uh, methods kind of mechanism. We'll take one or two examples and try to solve them. In finance, there are lots and lots of applications which use this, especially uh, solving for implied volatility. Or we talk about uh, uh, coming out with a solution for uh, the IRR of a particular uh, uh, investment project, all these things, they can very well be solved using this uh, numerical methods itself. And what we typically uh, see is Microsoft Excel itself has come out with a tool called Goal Seek, which is explicitly using one of the methods of solving the ordinary equations itself we see that uses a method called bisection method with some modifications in terms of arriving at a solution. Similarly, in some cases, we require optimization methods. Means we are not solving the function f of x to 0, but we are solving in such a way that f of x has to be maximum or minimum. We don't know what is that maximum value or a minimum value, but we want to maximize it or minimize it. Those kind of problems are called optimization problems. And what we see is for those kind of optimization problems, direct explicit formulas will not exist. They are more iterative and repetitive kind of processes. And uh, again, for those also, Microsoft Excel has a built-in package called Solver which addresses those things. Similarly, there could be a few situations where the integrations, definite integral, I may not be able to solve them using the integration formulas. Right? Probably a, a normal distribution, the, the function f of x for a standard normal probability density function 1 by root 2 pi e to the power of minus half x1 squared. 
let's say I want to integrate it over a particular interval. I may or may not have, I may have a, a closed form solution or I may not have a formula finding out uh, the integration for it. But if I have to integrate it over a specific range, I can take the help of a numerical method, which means it is more and more of an approximation kind of a solution using the numerical methods rather than directly uh, uh, trying to remember what is the formula in each of these cases. Similarly, when it comes to valuation of options, in the financial world, we know that there is uh, something called Black-Scholes formula, which is more and more appropriate only for those kind of options which are European in nature, where the exercise happens only on one single date. The decision point is one single date and then the volatility is constant. There are so many assumptions that have gone into this specific formula. So this formula kind of an approach is more, uh, more relevant when you are trying to value those kind of options. But today the options world is much, much vaster, vaster that European options form only a small proportion of the total set of options that are there. So all the other options, they can be valued through the finite differences mechanisms, binomial tree models, binomial lattices, which are nothing but the binomial tree models which uh, is one famous model for evaluating uh, the options. There is a finite difference uh, approximation mechanism which is used to value the options. All these are different instances of the numerical methods that are being used. Simulation, how do you simulate the uh, random variables? How do you simulate a particular distribution? How do you simulate values so that a particular distribution is getting adhered to? For various uh, purposes, we use simulation in the world of finance. So what I will do is for each one of them, initially I will explain the concepts behind each one of them. After that, we will take up uh, the numericals that are associated with each one, solving the equations, optimizations. Some of them we have uh, dealt as a part of our uh, other sessions, probably optimization, we keep uh, using as a part of uh, the portfolio management applications. So I will not deal with them uh, separately. Simulations also, wherever we require a correlated set of returns to be generated, we can talk about simulation. Uh, so we will uh, specifically talk about uh, the different numerical methods that are available for solving equations, for doing integrations, finite differences kind of mechanisms. And that would, uh, uh, that would uh, really give you some kind of insight into how the numerical methods are really benefiting the solving of the equations and arriving at the solutions, right? Now, when I look at the solving equations, the most common method is a bisection method, but an improved method is a newton raphson method. Bisection method always starts with an interval where it needs to start off, x and y. So initially, it is chosen in such a way that f of x and f of y, they should have opposite sides started in such a way that uh, x and y are chosen, the interval is chosen in such a way that their functions have opposite side. Now, so let's say I have decided that this is the interval. This is x, this is y. Now we try to find out the value of the function at f of x plus y by 2. Now, this could be, let's say f of x is positive, f of y is negative. Now, what happens if f of x plus y by 2 is negative? We say we cut off this interval. We try to choose only this interval for the second iteration. I have to choose at any point, the midpoint of the first iteration will become the interval ending for the second iteration depending on 
whether it is uh, pay, uh, whether its other pair is positive or negative it has to be an opposite pair so if this comes out to be negative it pairs up with the positive eliminating the other half so it is always evaluated at the midpoint and only half of the interval will be chosen which will trap the solution so now it is said that the solution will lie between x and x plus y by 2 the other half is completely ignored which gives the opposite sign for f of x at the extremities is the one that is typically chosen we keep repeating this process again and again until the size of interval comes down 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 so x and probably x plus y by 2 will become in a very very narrow range and i want to stop the iterations there so our guess is always at the midpoint of the interval and error part is half of the width of the interval we keep omitting at every stage half of the width of the interval is directly omitted so we are trying to narrow down the solution and after a certain number of iterations we are freezing on our solution but the only disadvantage while you can very quickly uh, come down in terms of uh, understanding the solution what we typically find is the major disadvantage